thank you so much for joining me for this interview today. Yeah, thanks for having me. I'm really excited. I am too. It'll be really fun. Um, yeah. For those of you watching at home right now, this is Heidi. She is a part of the cast of Virtual Love and Lockdown, our brand new web series. So um, Heidi, for the people watching right now, they don't know you at all. So could you just introduce yourself to them? Uh, yeah, definitely. Um, my name is Heidi Eichenhorst. I live just outside of Denver, Colorado, and I play the role of Anne. Awesome. Yes, so you play the role of Anne in Virtual Love and Lockdown. Um, so my follow-up question is, what is your character like? What is Anne like, and how are you similar, and how are you different to her? Yeah, so um, Anne is Katie's mom. So she's very caring. Um, she's a really good listener. I myself am a mother. So I also feel like I'm a pretty good listener. I'm caring and nurturing um, by nature. All of my friends and coworkers uh, kind of consider me the mom. So um, that's just kind of a role that I fit into. Um, so it's a really good fit as far as character goes. Awesome, that's awesome. And yeah, you mentioned that you are a mother in real life. So for those of you watching, this is actually my mom. Heidi is my real mom. Um, <laughs> but what is it like playing mother and daughter on screen when we're actually mother and daughter in real life? I think it's actually really cool because it's like a new dynamic to our relationship, something that we haven't really explored before. It's like mm -hmm. kind of um, getting to view our relationship like on the outside looking in kind of in a weird way, but it's not really our relationship. It's like a different aspect of it. It's kind of cool. Yeah, that's true. I really think that that's really true. And I haven't looked at it that way, but I agree. And I also think it's fun because like we get to be creative together in a way that we don't get to be every day. So it's, it's fun getting to work with you in that way. And like we worked on other films and other projects together. So it's just always fun when I get to be creative with you. Um, I just enjoy that part of our relationship. <laughs> yeah, definitely, me too. Oh, good. Um, okay, so my next question is, you are one of the few actors in the show who actually is filming in real life due to COVID, everybody else is filming virtually. Um, and so what is it like filming in real life with such a small crew? Yeah, I, I, it was actually a really good experience having um, a small crew. It was just a very intimate experience that allowed you to make um, more interesting creative choices. If it worked out, it was great. If it didn't, it wasn't like a huge deal. You could just kind of make a new choice and move on. Um, so yeah, it was, it was a really a nice experience to have just a smaller, more intimate environment to, to film in. Awesome. Yeah, I agree. I feel like, uh, you know, COVID has been really tough in a lot of ways. And I think working with a small crew um, is a challenge. At the same time, it's really fun and freeing. And I feel like it has challenged everyone on our crew to learn different skills and kind of be a master of none, which is really fun. Um, yeah. Yeah. Um, okay, so my next question is, what are three words to describe your character specifically or the show as a whole? Oh, let's see. Um, relatable. Um, hilarious, because it's, it's hilarious. Um, True. And realistic. Those are really good. I feel like they kind of describe your character and mm -hmm. the show really nicely because yeah. Um, it's realistic. You're playing a mom. You're my real mom. And um, I think our scene specifically is something that I think a lot of people experience with their parents talking about dating. It's like, nah, I don't know if I want to talk to my parents about this, but, um, and I, I think, you know, the show is funny, but it's awkward and re real life. Yeah. So, yeah. Um, <laughs> those are good, good answers. Um, so my very last question for you is, if you could tell the audience one thing before they watch the show, what would it be? I think um, I would say that we all know that like the last year plus has been 
very difficult with the pandemic. There's been like a lot of loss um, in that has looked very, very many different ways. Um, and it's been very challenging in a lot of different ways. And there have been um, a lot of things throughout this that we can look at that have um, been able to um, bring us moments of joy and happiness. And there are some things that have, you know, brought us a real sense of um, challenge in our world. And I feel like this show reflects both of those things and gives us a real look at um, what life has been like during this. And I just hope that people are able to um, enjoy both of those aspects of this show. Yeah, totally. I feel like there's a lot of like really funny, awkward, like, yeah, like dating moments in the show, but it's also a lot of just Katie being alone and like right. the, the loneliness of it and going through these terrible dates, just trying to get some sort of human connection is I think something that everyone will be able to relate to. So it's like the, the good and the bad of right. the world we're living in. So exactly. <laughs> well, thank you again so much for being a part of this interview. It was great talking to you. Thank you so much for having me. This was awesome. Awesome. Um, so for those of you watching at home right now, Virtual Love and Lockdown premieres on April 20th. That's when the very first episode debuts. And then we're going to release each episode every single week following that. So it's going to be a fun few weeks of our show. So please stay tuned. Um, and thanks again, Heidi. Thanks, Mom. Thank you. <laughs> Bye.